Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV. So last week I was redoing the slide roof, putting new uh, membrane on it, and I had kind of looked and inspected my seals here, especially the outside seals, and they're getting pretty ratty. So I kind of asked if anybody knew where you could get those in Canada. I had a few uh, good places I, um, that commenters picked out a couple in the states but someone said they could get it on Amazon so I kind of looked through Amazon Canada and I did find this for sale on Amazon Canada um, the wiper seal was is there too and on Amazon US this is a two inch wiper seal but thankfully this is still in pretty good shape I'm not going to replace it there's no holes in it or anything like that I think because it's usually in the shade, especially where we summer here, it's always in the shade. Whereas this one gets a lot more exposure into the sun. So let's just go take a look at what I got. There we go. So I took uh, one off the other side of the slide and you can see it's starting to get holes in it. And it was starting to get kind of sticky and weird. So this is the new product that I got. This is pretty standard on a lot of the Keystone slides, and I mentioned quite a few other RVs, but this is 13 16 times 11 16 times 30 feet black, of course. And you can kind of see how it feeds in the channel there. It needs this little T, T part here to feed through the channel. So it came in 30 feet. My, my sections, vertical sections, are both 7, and my slide's 12 feet long and then there'll be a bit of overhang to it. So this should do the whole slide. Let's go take a look how we got to get things off. So to get that rubber out of the channel, I'm gonna to have to take these corner pieces off and see there's three screws. And then there's another one at the bottom. And one of those screws actually goes in and holds it in the channel, one at the top and one at the bottom, so I can't slide out. And then when I take off that uh, top part, I'll be able to just flex the frame a bit enough to slide the, the main top seal in. Yeah, so just pop that cover off. And I can kind of flex it here and get that seal out of there. The other one, once I take the screws out, it just drops straight down. Okay, got her fed in there. Looks like I got about uh, three feet or so to spare. So I also have a little issue with this seal down here. You can see it's starting to come apart, but I really couldn't find this one that easy. So what I'm gonna do is I have extra of the, the bead and I filled it with some uh, non-sag caulking and I'm just gonna cover it with another layer. Just to kind of patch that hole. I think that'll work out okay once that all sets up in there. There we go. The other side's still in good shape, so I won't have to do that. Just saves me from trying to find that weird part. And the finishing touch at each end is to seal this little crack. <laughs> Same thing, I'm using this Alpha Systems non-sag. Try to force it into that crack there. Well, there we go. A 10 year old slide's looking pretty snazzy now. If you wonder what I use for the rubber seal treatment 
over the years I've always used this protect all it's kind of like a foam that comes out of this can or I use aerospace 303 protectant whatever I kind of have on hand this one's a little harder to find usually I can find the aerospace a little easier but most RV places will carry them or Amazon anyway till next time Ray from loveyourv.com thanks again for watching Cheers, folks.